Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Basil Williams has defended his performance amidst accusation of increased budgetary allocations to his chambers and poor performance. Stacey Carmichael has the details. Despite claims of poor performance, Attorney General Williams has defended the government's work since its assumption to office, particularly that of his chambers. Addressing media operatives on Monday, the Legal Affairs Minister pointed to the fact that the country was blacklisted by both the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force, CFATF, and the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, under the previous administration. They got us into the black, black hole, but it never got us out. We got us out. That's one. I never heard of an attorney general before while sitting in the, the chair of attorney general, being elevated to the chair of a big organization that is so important in the context of cleaning the world economy. Um, I don't know, I, Mr. Nadal ever held a conference as big as the Hague conference or as the CFATF conference. I don't know what, the, in fact, there's nothing for Mr. Nadal to show. Meantime, the Attorney General said the 23 years of opposition rule has brutalized the legal system, with the appointment of just a few senior counsel under the former regime. He said too that only a handful of lawyers were identified and funded by the then government and given retainers. A lot of people couldn't, like me, who had been very successful in my law practice and so was able to represent people in, um, on the part of my party, freely, bono, um, doing pro bono work. A lot of lawyers couldn't do that. And they, in fact, had to try and um, exact a living, extract a living, in, in what was a harsh time for us in Guyana. As a result, A.G. Williams noted that few attorneys were able to develop professionally. Claims that government is fraudulently settling a number of cases were also rubbished by Minister Williams, who called on a naysayers to provide evidence. For InfoHub, Stacey Carmichael.